Okay, interesting integral here today. We've got the integral from zero to infinity of sine x over x plus x cosine squared x dx. Okay, I'm not sure if there's different ways to do this, but what I was looking for was a good example to use Lobachevsky's integral on this. And so that's the way I'm gonna approach it. I was thinking that maybe Feynman's trick would work, but I'm not sure because I think if you do that, what you get might be kind of messy, but I didn't really try it that way. So anyway, I'll show you the formula in one second, but before we do that, I actually just wanna rearrange it to get it a little more familiar. What we can do is if I factor out an X in the numerator, let's see what's gonna happen with that. This is just gonna become, oh, sorry about that. If I factor out an X, this becomes X times one plus cosine squared X. So putting it in that form and trying to make it clear, I separate out the X and I'll write it like this. So we just have our sine X over X. And then the other part, we'll write this as one over one plus cosine squared X. And so now just looking at our formula that we'll have over in this area. So in a few previous videos, we did basically this integral. I've done this one a few times with sine X over X. And then we've done it with sine squared X over X squared. So now before we use that formula, notice it wouldn't matter here if this could also be sine squared X over X squared, it would work the exact same way. But once we have one of those forms, we just need to check our f of x value. Now, I like to do this kind of carefully. We want to do this. What we need is we need f of, we need this to be pi periodic. And so we need this, whether it's plus or minus, to be equal to f of x. So anyway, this check is going to go pretty quick. What we want to look at, all, all I really care about is the cosine. The ones aren't going to change anything. So if I look at cosine pi minus x, this is going to be the same thing as minus cosine x. And if we look at cosine pi plus x, this is also gonna be minus cosine of x. But when we square it, the minus sign's gonna go away and we're just gonna get back cosine squared x. And so we're gonna end up with our f of x and this check is gonna work. So what that's gonna allow me to do is I could just use the formula, reduce the integral, our bounds are gonna change. We're no longer going from zero to infinity, now it's zero to pi over two. And we essentially got rid of all this stuff and now we're just integrating one over one plus cosine squared x. But now here, this is a pretty straightforward integral, it'll work a few different ways and all the ways are fine. But what I like to do is multiply in secant squared x over secant squared x, just multiplying this thing's one. When you multiply this in, what's gonna happen? We end up with secant squared x in the numerator. Secant squared times one is just a secant squared x. Here, cosine times secant is just one. So this cleans up and looks like this. But in order to do a u substitution, what I want is to get a tangent in here, because if I have tangent, we got our secant squared in the numerator, so it's like perfectly set up almost. What we can do is use this identity for this. Secant squared is the same thing as t tan, secant squared is the same thing as tan squared x plus one. So let's put this together and rewrite it really quickly. So we're gonna have, now this becomes tan squared x plus two in the denominator, and we have our secant squared here. Do a quick u sub on it. u is gonna be equal to tan of x. Our du value is gonna be just secant squared x dx. Go ahead and substitute, plug in something, plug in pi over two. Tan of pi over two is going to infinity. Plug in zero, tan of zero is just zero. The whole, all this stuff becomes just du up here. And then what, we've, what, we're, and what we're left with here is u squared plus two. But let me set this up. For two, I'm gonna write it as square root of two, all squared, just setting up our arctan formula on this. We need to bring, this is like our a value, we need to bring this out in the denominator, so we're gonna have one over square root of two, arctan, u over square root of two, just evaluate from zero to infinity. Arctan at zero is just zero. Plug in infinity, arctan at infinity, pi over two. So for my final solution to this, we just get pi over two, square root of two. Okay, I think this one's pretty easy with Lobachevsky's integral just because, I mean, this is pretty clear to see that this check is gonna work. So you're kind of going quickly from here to here and this is a pretty routine integral. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.